All right, let's talk a little bit about acids and bases. And I'm sure that you've heard of these terms before, especially acids. Uh, and we usually think about acids as things that will, you know, burn you or something like that. And that, that's true. Um, but there's also a lot of different definitions of acids um, and bases. But we will focus in um, on one of the more uh, traditional ways of classifying uh, substances as either acidic or basic. So um, we are working under this model known as the Arrhenius model. Okay, and this is probably the most simple model um, that there is, but it's also a very useful one. Okay, and so Arrhenius acids. So acids have everything to do with hydrogen. And an Arrhenius acid is a compound that will increase the amount of hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution. So um, think about think about pure water. If you anything you add to water that will dissociate into hydrogen and something else um, is an acid under that um, definition. So hydrochloric acid, HCl. So imagine that this is actually a solid substance. When you put this into water, because it's an ionic compound, these two things will dissociate from each other into hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So assuming you're dumping this stuff into water, yeah, you're, you're increasing the concentration of chloride ions, but you're also um, increasing the concentration of hydrogen ions, and that's the important part of being an Arrhenius acid. Okay, so um, an Arrhenius base is kind of the same, but with a different chemical compound. Um, it's a compound that increases the amount of hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution. And hydroxide is a polyatomic ion from our past that hopefully you know. It's this one right here, the hydroxide. So a very common Arrhenius base is this one called sodium hydroxide. And this is a solid substance as well. And imagine that we're going to put this into just pure water. Um, because again, it's an ionic compound. It will um, dissociate or come apart into its ions. Um, and we're increasing the uh, concentration of sodium ions, which we don't care that much about. But what we do care about is the fact that there's a bunch of hydroxide ions that are being released into the water. And that is what makes a, um, an Arrhenius base, okay? So um, lots more to talk about with acids and bases. Some stuff we're gonna cover is like pH scale um, in the future, which I'm sure you've heard of as well. But we're just kind of getting the, 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 the nuts and bolts of this stuff here. So let's, let's begin with just some properties of Arrhenius acids. Um, not that you ever want to like taste a bunch of things that you aren't, aren't sure if, if they're acidic or not, but, but acids tend to have a sour taste. And so a good example of this is something like lemon juice. Lemon juice is um, very high in what's called citric acid. And um, you know, it's just got kind of that sour, stingy sort of taste. Um, you don't want to get it in um, like a, um, a little, little nick in your fingernail or something like that, it stings. Um, We've actually reacted certain metals with with um, acids to make hydrogen gas before, like um, hydrochloric acid uh, with zinc would make hydrogen gas. Uh, there's an indicator, and we'll talk more about indicators as we as we go on in this unit. But uh, one indicator is known as a litmus paper, and litmus paper comes in red and blue. <laughs> and when you dip the blue litmus paper into acid, it will turn red. And then um, the last um, thing that's kind of a giveaway for what an acid might be is, is that its chemical formula begins with H. And so like, you know, HCl, oops, and this toast, like HCl is hydrochloric acid. We've got um, like HNO3, that's nitric acid, H. 2SO4, that's sulfuric acid. Anyway, they all start with, with H, okay? Um, now, bases, properties of some of these bases. Um, they have more of a bitter taste, um, and, and typically they're um, very much more toxic than um, acids are, believe it or not. Uh, most uh, plant-based toxins, like if you eat a poisonous plant of some sort, um, they are loaded with... Um, 
um, toxins that are bitter tasting, and that's um, to, to indicate that they're poisonous. Anyway, um, they've got kind of a slippery feel. I don't know if you've ever um, maybe gotten bleach or something on your fingertips, but it makes them really kind of slimy when, when there's bleach on there. Um, they can, but uh, they can, not all the time, but, but sometimes they'll react with certain metals to make hydrogen gas. Um, and, and regarding the litmus paper here, uh, bases will turn the red litmus paper into blue litmus paper. So there's a color change indicator. We'll, we'll talk more about that stuff. Um, and then the chemical formula for um, Arrhenius bases always ends with OH. So again, like sodium hydroxide, um, magnesium hydroxide, oops, OH. Uh, we might have something like uh, calcium hydroxide. Um, and basically, the metal that is attached to the hydroxide comes from the far left of the, um, of the periodic table, typically. Okay? So, let's talk about what happens when acids and bases react together. Where is that? There it is. So, when acids and bases react, uh, this is actually known as a neutralization reaction. And so the acid is neutralized by the base. And um, so you take these uh, two fairly um, harmful substances, an acid and a base, which are both pretty nasty in their own ways. And when you combine them in just the right way, you end up making these two things, some sort of salt and water, uh, which are both pretty benign kind of chemicals. Um, the salt doesn't always have to be the salt that we're most familiar with, which is sodium chloride, but it, it can be. Like here's an example of, of a neutralization reaction that does produce sodium hydroxide, uh, excuse me, sodium chloride. And that's because um, in these neutralization reactions, it, they are double replacement meaning that the positive ions are going to switch partners. So the hydrogen is going to hook up with the hydroxide and the sodium is going to hook up with the chloride. Okay, so here's our NaCl, that's our salt. And then H hooking up with OH. I usually tend to write that as, as either HOH like this or H2O is another totally fine way to write that. Okay, so these are known as the parent acid and base, and then these are the products. And the type of salt that is produced is totally dependent on the type of base that's used here. And so, so you, can, you can picture that like uh, the salt is not just based on the base, it's, it's also based on the um, acid. But so let's, let's take another look here. So if we had like H2SO4, this is sulfuric acid, and let's react that with something like magnesium hydroxide. Okay, so when we, when we react these two, um, the parent acid and the parent base here, we're going to make our salt, which in this case is going to be made from magnesium and sulfate, right? So that's MgSO4. And that's not really salt like you're familiar with this kind of salt, but, but salt is actually a, um, defined as a product of an acid-base neutralization reaction. So, so this is indeed a type of salt, but it's not the one you're most familiar with. And then, of course, the other uh, product over here is going to be a combination of the hydrogen and the hydroxide again, HOH, also known as H2O. Okay? So um, that is just sort of a little intro into the world of acids and bases, and I hope that helps with a couple of these introductory um, uh, Unit 8 worksheets. All right, guys.